Friday night, roof open in the beginning of a 10 game homestand for the Blue Jays. The first three games are against the Kansas City Royals. Just 22 games remain in the regular season. Kakushi picked up his first win at Kauffman Stadium in Kansas City back on the 4th of April. He had a very good outing. The 3 2 line to short, and Bo Bichette gets tested right away. Bo's back. Well, Bo knows baseball, that's for sure, and he is back at shortstop, and that's a good thing for the Blue Jays, and he makes a nice play to start the ball game. Really two of the best shortstops of the game playing here in this series, Bobby Wood Jr. and Bo Bichette. And a swing and a foul tip as he strikes him out, two down. A one-two. Swing and a miss. Got him with a breaking ball. Back-to-back -back strikeouts for Kikuchi, and a one-two-three first inning for the left-hander. Colin Snyder makes his first big league start as the opener. He has pitched well since he called back up from Triple A. Salvi goes into foul ground, and that's that for George Springer. So here is Bichette, 314 on the season, 18 home runs. Off the injured list tonight, he had been out with a right quad injury. He's also been out this year with a right knee injury. Jam. And there's Lofton to throw him out. So four pitches and two outs for Colin Snyder. Bo looked okay running up the baseline. No issues whatsoever. Right-hand batter will swing and bounce it back to the mound. Nice big hop for Colin. He'll jog toward first. Underhand toss to Salvi. And how about Colin Snyder? A nice, quiet, one, two, three, efficient first inning. Now, this 10-game stretch for the Blue Jays and Bichette's recent physical ailments are going to make things interesting with how he's played going forward. Don't be surprised if he has a day off either tomorrow or Sunday. And don't be surprised if he DHs during that upcoming Rangers series next week. There is a plan in place, and that plan is designed to keep Bichette on the field for the rest of the season. 2-2. Two -two. And he got him. Third strikeout already for Yusei Kikuchi. Um, Yusei has got that slider working very well. He's got one of the best sliders in all of baseball. He throws more strikes with his slider than anybody in baseball. He's got the highest strike percentage on the slider. And that's a walk to Velazquez, and he earned that. The 2-2. Two -two. Ground ball in the middle of a diamond. Bo flags it. Underhand to Merrifield. Easy pivot on to first in time for a double play. Blue Jays to the plate in the bottom of the second inning. Scoreless with Kansas City. Davis Schneider, nobody in Major League history has a higher OPS on base plus slugging after their first 20 games in the majors. Hit up the right field line, slicing into the corner, and it lands fair. Another extra base hit for Davis Schneider. He drops a double into the right field corner, legging out his eighth double and his 18th extra base hit in just 21 Major League games. It's the pitch. Swing and a foul tip held on to by Freddie Fermin. That's strike three. And now the number nine hitter, right fielder Dyrone Blanco, a 30-year-old rookie, and he can fly. Whether he can hit enough is a is another story, although he has held his own this year. Hit down the left field line towards the corner. Varsho turns around, and that one's gone. Into the Blue Jays' left field bullpen. Dyrone Blanco, his second home run of the season, and the Royals take a 1-0 lead in the top of the third. The pitch was down, but it looked like it was out over the plate a little bit, and he was able to get the barrel on it and hit it out of the ballpark. Now we go to the bottom of the third inning. Right-hander Alec Marsh comes in as the bulk pitcher. Freddie's on it, and it helped that all of his momentum was taking him toward first base, but that was not an easy play. Watch this. A sense of urgency. Yes. Why? Because it's your, his play all the way. Look at it. Not easy, but he does a belly flop Superman slide into the dirt, but he's able to move cat quick behind the plate. Nice job. Bobby Witt Jr. will lead it off against Kikuchi. The 0-2. Swing and a miss. Struck him out with a good fastball. Salvi struck out his first time up. Into left field for a one-out hit. And a grounder to short. Bichette on to Merrifield to easily force Perez and retire the side. Two balls, two strikes on Schneider with two down and the base is empty. And a line drive well hit down the left field line and that's a fair ball. And Davis Schneider just continues this remarkable beginning to his big league career, his second double of the night. 2-2 two -two pitch, and that's called strike three. Kind of looking at a fastball at 95. So we go to the fifth here in Toronto, one nothing Royals. And they're just getting started in Arlington. Rangers hosting the Athletics. That's one to watch. A lot of A's fans at Rogers Center tonight. You better believe it. Swing and a miss. Another strikeout for Kikuchi, number six on the night. Swing and a miss. 
Back to back strikeouts for Kikuchi. 0 2. Is a fastball right at the knees for strike three. Kikuchi strikes out the side in the fifth inning. Bottom of the sixth inning, Alec Marsh back out. He's thrown three innings as the bulk pitcher. Kevin Kiermeyer leads off the bottom of the sixth. Hits one to the wall in right center. Making the turn, heading for third, and in there with a triple. Bo's got to be thinking the right side of the diamond. He's such a great opposite field hitter. He hit a deep fly ball to deep right center his last time up, and that would be perfect in this situation. That'll work too. A fair ball inside the bag down the line. Bichette on his way to second with a double, and this game is tied. Welcome back, Bo. The go ahead runs on for the Royals for now, Nick Lofton. Into the right field corner. That's a long run for Springer, and he can't get it. And he leaves his feet, which will allow Freddie Fermin to score. And Nick Lofton is in there with a triple. And the Royals answer the Blue Jays and regain the lead 2-1. So now the left-hander Cox comes in, facing the bottom of the Toronto order. That one bounces off of Cox, and Kirk's going to beat it out. And Cox is hurt. Well, it hits off him, and then he's going. And this is a, this is a stressful play. Now he's looking for it, and his left yeah. knee just jammed, hyperextended, right here. And he knew right away. And then, to make matters worse, he fell on it. Yeah. He he see he was trying to adjust to get his body over to first, and it wrenched his knee. Oh, left leg, mm -hmm. and you could tell it very difficult for him to put any weight on that at all. Did he go? He did not, and that is ball four. Jeff Nelson down at first base. The umpire waving no swing, and the Royals bench not happy with the call. Boy, he could have been called for a swing there. Blue Jays get a break. So now runners at first and second with two down for Bo Bichette, who last time up hit an RBI double, driving in the only run of the night that the Blue Jays have so far. And he pulls one into left to base hit. Heineman around third, on his way home, and will score. Springer around to third and welcome back Bo Bichette. And just like that his first game back Bo Bichette has driven in both of the Blue Jays runs. Where would they be without Bo Bichette this season or tonight. And now it's up to Vladdy. 3-0 sent to left field. And it's over the head of Melendez. Springer in the score. Bichette behind him. Notes here in the seventh. So second and third, two down on the count, two and two on Clement. And he lines the ball to right field. That's a base hit. Guerrero in to score. Clement sees the throw go home, and he takes second as it is now five to two. Green has spent his whole career with the Yankees and signed with Toronto in the offseason, already injured. They were hoping to get him back at some point. There's a liner down the left field line, hit hard, and off the fence it'll go, bouncing. Off the warning track and off that fence in left field. Bobby Wood Jr. has a double. He scalded that baseball. And that's lined to left field and sinking in front of Witt. And he gets it to the plate in a hurry. Just took the lead with four runs in the bottom of the seventh. Kansas City threatening. Ground ball to third. Espinal to Schneider. Or Espinal to Clement, rather, and on to first, not in time. So the run counts, and the Royals are down just two now. So nothing easy for the Blue Jays. They still have the lead. It's five to three in the eighth inning. A run in for the Royals. The bases are loaded. Two outs. And Jordan Romano has been summoned to Buck here in the eighth. Lofton hits one right up the middle, and Clement will meet it right at the back. Boy, that couldn't have worked out any better. Jordan Romano got the last out of the eighth inning on one pitch, and now he will face Kyle Isbell. And there it is, leadoff walk. Another walk. And now the tying run is on base. Well, he's not quite out of the woods yet. Saw Perez. That is over Bichette and into left field. It's a one run game. Isbell scores. So the first walk comes around, and now it's 5 4. Again, the 1 2. The lead runner's going. This ball in the air, right center. Kiermaier there, and the Blue Jays win it. It wasn't easy, but they got it done. And a big win for the Blue Jays to start the homestand.